Yeah, man. It's your boy Wizzle here. A lot of people come up to me asking me, Yo, Wiz, what you got all them tattoos for? What if you got to get a job? I say I got a job. I'm a star. I ink my whole body. I don't give a motherfuck. <laughs> yeah! What up, Taylor Gang? Star Power. A star year. You know what it is. My name is Johnny. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfuck. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfuck. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfuck. Ain't my whole body, body, ain't my whole body. Got so many tats, you can't even count them up. In the shop, very weak, I can't seem to get enough. My aunt say my skin too clean to mark it up, but I'm a. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfuck. I'm blowing perp, no shirt. Windows down, screaming cash rules, showing off my tattoos. Whole spasm when they see me, run up on me, start. Asking, can they read me? It's Wizzle Man. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfucker. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfucker. Ain't my whole body, I don't give a motherfucker. Ain't my whole body, 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 began being used on human skin long before the alphabet was even invented. Its history stretches over 5,000 years and its practices are as diverse as the images and people themselves. Human fascination with marking the body, whether it be a sign of social status, a distinctive gang symbol, a story of one's life journey, or simply a way of enhancing one's body image, has evolved into a new kind of inked community. The growing popularity and appreciation of this historic practice has made the art of tattooing into one of today's most used forms of personal expression. It's becoming harder to find a person under the age of 30 who doesn't have some type of body modification. In our world's globalizing society, youth are looking for more and more ways to identify themselves. Tattoos have become the ideal outlet and source for this mainstream youth culture. Tattooing is a form of expression, in my opinion, and I got a tattoo because I wanted to personally express something about myself. It definitely seems like I've noticed more people uh, around my age with tattoos. Uh, I think it's becoming more of like an expression where people have four or five, six tattoos describing or symbolizing major events. From their life. I think it's a mixture of popularity and a personal choice but for me and I think more people are like me too whereas I got it just for myself. When people get tattoos they mean something to them. You know some people maybe dye their hair or pierce their nose as also a form of expression or some people wear darker eye makeup. I think it's all a form of showing who you are. I think it's a way to express yourself. I think that everybody can tell their own little story through a tattoo. Which I think is, is an awesome uh, way to remember events and uh, sort of daily reminders of how you got to be at where you're at. When I got a tattoo, I wanted it to be something meaningful for me. It's a Bible verse. It's trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And that was something that I know I wouldn't regret down the road that will always continue to be part of my life. I have a tattoo on my foot and it is in Hebrew, which when I was going through college, I was learning all the history about the, the Old Testament and how it was written in Hebrew. And then um, my best friend at the time, we were going to college together. So we decided to get a tattoo together that meant something more than just getting Chinese symbols or writing it out. So we chose Hebrew, and then I had it translated to mean soulmate. Visually, you're representing emotion um, a lot of times, whether it's in a relationship or after a relationship. I know that's kind of a commonplace time to get one. I think as long as someone has a story behind the tattoo and as long as it um, means something to them, then it's cool. I mean, if it's going to be on your body and describe you, it should be unique from everybody else. Especially at the age that we all are. Seems like we're all trying to find our own way in tattoos and give everybody a little sense of individuality. Yeah.
Today, you can hardly walk down a city block without finding a person who does not have a tattoo. However, using the skin as a canvas for expression is a practice that has been around for centuries. One such group, the Maori people of New Zealand, believes tattooing to be a rite of passage in their lives. This community is known for its distinctive facial and full head tattoos, which mark significant events in an individual's life. Today, tattooing is still a part of our culture. However, unlike the Maori community, which regarded tattoos with honor and respect, many people in our community look down on the practice. Jeff, owner of Jeff's Tattoo and Piercing in St. Cloud, Minnesota, knows exactly how tattoos can impose implications on one's life. My name is Jeff Hunsticker. My wife and I, Judy, own Jeff's Tattoo and Total Body Piercing. I started getting tattooed, oh God, I was like 42 years old when I got my first tattoo. I actually worked for the federal government for a little over 26 years. So they figured for my position and my rank, I really shouldn't be doing this. Now the government does have very strict rules and regulations governing what you can or can't do. They actually tried to terminate my federal job, meaning 30 days after I lose my federal job, I lose my military status, so I'm done. And there's no recourse, so I quit actually 10 years early. There will always be people that don't like tattoos, and it's normally people that don't have tattoos. People seem to think, you know, nowadays everybody has tattoos, it doesn't matter. Well, that really isn't true. Most of the time when I go out, if I go to the bank, I wear a long sleeve shirt because people will treat me completely different when I don't. Everything isn't satanic. Everything isn't some motorcycle thing. Everything isn't anti-religion, anti-government. You know, but what might be important to me may be offensive to you. So in other words, some tattoos or any tattoo is offensive to some people just because you got a tattoo. However, tattooing is not a dying art. It will always be a popular trend. Millions of you today believe tattooing is not only becoming more accepted, but also a powerful form of our right to the freedom of expression. <laughs>